Okay, for this test, I'm going to show you something known as the long sit-in test. And then from long sit-in, we'll go into supine. But we can actually start in a supine position. So if you notice here on the distal part of the tibia, which is the medial malleolus, I've marked a line on the right side and I've marked a line on the left side. And if I bring the legs together, you will notice that the right side is a few millimeters, if not a centimeter longer than the left leg. So potentially we have a few things going on here. Potentially the right leg could be anatomically longer or the left leg could be anatomically shorter. However, if we think about it from a pelvic dysfunction, it might also indicate that the right innominate has gone forward, so it's anteriorly rotated on that side, or the left side is posteriorly rotated. Now, from this position, if we get the patient to come up into the long sitting position, Sean, if you sit up, please. And what you notice now is that they almost become equal, or the right side actually becomes slightly shorter than the left side. But what that in indicates is that there is a pelvic rotation that's going on. So we have a malalignment within the rotation of the pelvis. Because if this right leg was anatomically longer or the left leg shorter, then they would still say shorter on the left and longer on the right. But because there is a rotation within the pelvis, this right side has actually gone more in a well, it's actually stayed there and the left side has moved. And if we get the patient to lay back down again, you'll notice now that the right leg goes longer again. Now, there is a mnemonic that is known as the five L's. And the five L's indicates that the leg lengthens lie in and the landmarks are lower. So it's a very simplistic test. So you basically start off, if you want to, in supine, and you mark, you get the patient to, to sit up in a long sitting position, and then let's say the right side is longer and the left side is shorter, as in the innominate bones, and then as they go to sit up, then the left side is actually changing position because it can freely move. So the right side doesn't physically move because it's stuck anteriorly. So it's actually the left side that's moving. So from the sit-in position, when you lay back down again, then we have this position. So the right leg appears to go longer. So we actually have a right anterior innominate of the pelvic girdle. I hope you'd enjoyed the video on that simple presentation.